Hello and welcome back again in another video about sheet metal fabrication for insulation. And in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a reducer offset. So that is from, this is the normal reducer from the last video. And it's now here, we're gonna, it's, it's offset. So one straight side, it's from the middle out of the middle. And I'm gonna show you it exactly the way I uh, teach it in school for a long time ago. So what we're going to do, as always, we're going to make here a working line. It's very hard to see with this light, so... I'm going to... Oh, there it is. So this is my working line, I hope it's visible, okay now this is then what we are doing, making straight here, the small again 120, highness also 120 and big diameter is going to be 118. Okay, now what we're going to do is, I'm going to first here make a line. On this line we make here the big diameter of 180. Hundred and eighty. This is the middle. Then we go down 120. And the small diameter is 120. Hundred and twenty, and this is hundred and eighty. Okay, so what I need to do is here. I'm gonna take this one. That's hundred and eighty. Is a radius of ninety. Should be here. Then, just gonna mark here the circle, exactly in the middle. And now I'm gonna make this divided here, equal parts. So we said this is 120, yeah. so I'm just going to mark it here a little bit, okay, now I'm going to connect those two here. And again we have here S point, just gonna call it the S point. So, next thing, what we're going to do is we're gonna wipe out here these lines to down from this point here. So, I'm gonna put this here in. This comes on here and then. I'm gonna do this. Same thing with this one.
and the last one. So now I'm going to connect all these lines here with the S line. So the next, what we are going to do is, we're going to, these lines, I'm going to number it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. So I can make it from here directly, or I'm going to make a separate, a separate line. So I'm, I think I'm going to do a separate line. I think it's easier. From here, doesn't matter where you put it. Okay. So now I'm going to do line 1, or line 7, doesn't matter which one you want, and also, again, if you don't fit, I'm just going to make this a little bit longer, seven. So I'm just going to... Seven. And now just each line you're going to take six, and one. So the same thing what you're going to do is with those from the smaller diameter. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter where you start or here or here. You have to do them all anyway. So I'm going to probably high speed this part in the video. Yeah, okay. These are almost the same. So after that, what you're going to do is, you take here the, the, this part from the big circle, they should be equal. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna from this big yeah, this is the the outside here is number seven and here we're also number seven. That's the outside line from here. So now I'm gonna just gonna take here this part that from the circle what I've let me see if it is exactly here. Yeah. Okay, now from this outside line. I go every time one line under. So here and here. And then from that point, again, one and down. From here. Yeah. See? It's just repeating every time the same step. And 
this one on the heel. Exactly the same thing. So now I can connect this with the F point. Just gonna connect it. Same thing on the other side. So that means this one, this one, everyone done on. The same thing you do here also. So you get now here, here, here. So the next thing is what I'm going to do is connect on connecting those points. So after connecting these points, well I have to give swage allowance. So I have to do every swage allowance plus 6 millimeter. So I'm gonna take, to not get to get confused, I'm gonna take here the blue one. And again, I mean, it takes a little bit of time, this one. I'm going to connect again those lines. So, the blue line is... I'm gonna cut out so the only left thing is what's left is the overlap both sides 15 millimeter So the next thing is to cut it out. So this is then my template. So I, I turn around now you see maybe better the how it looks. Okay, now where is this one is for the holes to mark them. Okay, next thing is we're gonna put a switch and we go to the rounding machine. Here. 
So, there it is. The next thing is getting those swages. So we're going to take this part from the, from the last video we made. Put this off. And we're going to use this one here. This comes here. Okay. Now the exciting part comes. Does it fit? It's always exciting. Yeah, it's a little bit tight, but we got him. Okay, it's done. So, this is the reducer offset. Just wanted to show how it's made and well, some people were asking for it and it's done. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time.